I'm Mr. Nichols, and I'm going to tell you a story uh, today called A Christmas Wish. And A Christmas Wish is a story all about Gemma here and her little brother Ty and this magical thing called a snow deer. And it takes place one Christmas evening. So this is where they live. There's the moon, there's the snow, lots of snow all over the ground, and this little village where they live. Nice place. Okay, so this is where we start off. We start off when they've just bought the Christmas tree and they've brought the Christmas tree home to start doing the decorations. Gemma gazed up at the Christmas tree. She'd watched excitedly as mum and dad stood it up. She'd cut the net and she'd freed the branches and she'd breathed in the magical smell of Christmas. And there's, there's Gemma and there's her little brother Ty and there's dad and mum and there's an annoying cat and everybody's having a good time so far. At last it was time to unpack the decorations. Gemma's brother Ty danced around her knees impatiently. Ty, calm down or you'll pop, she laughed. Gemma had told him all about the shiny baubles, the glittering tinsel, and her favorite, the leaping snow deer, who sparkled like ice and sugar. One by one, oh so carefully, Gemma unwrapped the decorations. And there she is, there's Gemma and Ty unwrapping all the individual little decorations from their uh, tissue paper because they're very delicate. You have to be careful they don't break. At last she found the dusty box where the snow deer slept. Ty spotted something sparkly in the box and reached out for it. Careful Ty, don't touch, cried Gemma, yanking the box away. Too quickly, the snow deer fell from his hands. And there we are. She's got the box. He's taken the snow deer. She's taken the box away. The snow deer. Oh! There was the tiniest snap as it hit the floor and lay broken. Now Gemma had no heart for decorating the tree. Suddenly, she hated Ty. Is something broken? asked Mum. It's the snow deer, the one I really love, my snow deer. Stupid Ty broke it to bits. Oh, it was an accident, Gem. You know how excited he is. Ty tried to say sorry. He brought his favourite teddy to Gemma. Your teddy, Jemmy, he said. Gemma wouldn't look at Ty. She threw his teddy on the floor and stomped out of the room. Gemma laid the snow deer on her pillow. She remembered last Christmas, dark evenings, sitting by the tree, dreaming with the snow deer. And this is a picture of her dream. This is what she wanted to do with the snow deer. Dreams where he carried her through sparkling skies, high above sleepy toy town cities and patchwork fields. And there they are, there's the snow deer flying over the beautiful landscape and Gemma enjoying flying. This is her dream, this is what she wants to do with the snow deer. But she can't now because it's then flying higher still, riding a wild snowstorm to the ice palaces of the North Pole. In crystal halls shimmering with the light of a thousand fairies, they danced to a blaze of star music, spinning and whirling till the stars fell asleep one by one. There we are into the ice palace. Now she's got a beautiful dress on. She's dancing with the snow deer in her dreams. Ty would have loved flying with a snow deer, thought Gemma. 
she remembered last Christmas Eve. Ty had bounced into her room in the middle of the night because he wanted to see Santa's, Santa's reindeer. Then he'd snuggled up with Gemma like a big teddy bear. But he's better than a teddy bear, she thought. He hugs you back. Gemma began to feel that she'd been mean to Ty. Gemma wondered how late it was. It was very quiet. She opened the door and nearly fell over something. On the floor was a badly wrapped parcel and a little card with a big, big wobbly sorry written on it. And there she is coming out of her bedroom and she finds this little parcel on the ground. And there's the cat sniffing away at the parcel. In the parcel was a pot of glue. To mend the snow deer, Gemma laughed. Gemma crept downstairs. Look what Ty gave me, she whispered. And then, working patiently, Mum and Gemma stuck the snow deer back together. And there they are down with the Christmas tree, Mum and Gemma working together and they're putting the pieces of the snow deer back together again. Now it really is bedtime, said Mum. But Gemma had one more thing to do. She took the snow deer into Ty's room. Ty, she whispered, and the snow deer flew down to brush his cheek with a kiss. He's better now, said Gem. Let's make a Christmas wish. Maybe, just maybe, he'll fly us to the stars. Moonbeams kissed their sleepy heads as they closed their eyes tight and wished. And there's Gemma and Ty and the snow deer and they're wishing and starting to dream. And there's Ty's favorite teddy bear. And then, together, in their dreams, they flew high above the sleepy towns into the magical velvet night. Off they go, Gemma and Ty on the snow deer, and there's all of the town underneath, peacefully sleeping. And that's the end, back to the little village and the lovely snow scene. So that's the happy story of Gemma and Ty and the snow deer. Bye bye, have a happy Christmas.